Hi guys. Today at the Balloon Man, we're going to show you guys how to blow up some figurines. Because I hear you guys have been having trouble with figurines lately. So the elephant is the is the second one is one of them. And we got the duck. Okay. All right. Anyway, we're going to start with the duck first because I heard a couple of my friends have trouble with theirs. Now, first thing first, you want to get the beak blown up. Okay? The beak is the most important part because that's where you start from the beak to the, ba the body. You want to let the air into the beak first. You don't want to let it into the body. So you grip the body. You don't have to make it so tight, but you want to make it tight enough so you can manage it like this. See this? See my hands? I'm just holding it like light tight. Like you, you can do this. You don't want to make it like tight like this. You don't want to grip it like you're going to kill it. You want just enough so you can get the air inside. Now I'm going to blow it up and you'll see. You know what I'm talking about. Now. See that? It's not always going to come out like this real fast, but now you want to push it to the very end because you don't want to leave any stretching. Well, you could, but I like to leave it to its end like that so you can, so it, it builds up to go towards the back as you, because then there's nowhere for the air to go but back. Now, light tight. Now, don't you don't have to grip it too tight. Now, you could actually let it go to within reason. I mean, but you want to still manage the body. Now, I'm trying to get the mouth. As you see, the beak is almost full. Once you get the beak, everything else it should be the easiest of all inflation. Look at that. Look how nice it looks. It's getting tight, too. We might want to let lighten up on that. Don't want it to get too tight. But, as you see, well, you could blow it up and you can stretch it out a little bit as you go. Now, it's, that the, it's near the tip, so you could actually release the head now. And there you go. You see that? I released the head. So now it has some room to go. Notice I lightened my grip on the rest of the body now. You really don't need to grip it so tight anymore. Once you get the head, and I mean the, the beak, it should be really, really simple. It's easy to treat from here. Keep in mind, you can, it can still pop at any given time because for some reason figurines are very delicate at when, upon inflation. Once you get inflated, it's good. 
you don't have to worry so much about it. You know? See that? Look at that. The head is starting to form. Isn't that pretty? See that? Look at that. It's starting to hit the body. See that? It's growing. Now I'm releasing it. See that? It's not so bad now. See that? See how big it is now? It's reached near the body. You can tell when it's reached the body and when to let go. As it starts to pull your hand at your hand, tugging it lightly, you don't have to, to strangle it now. Now it's basically blow and blow and blow because we're near the end. Look at that. See that? It's forming up. Look how nicely it's getting. No struggling, no pain, no gain. I mean, all gain, no pain. You see that? We're not fighting with it now. See that? Nice balloon. Good ducky. Good ducky. Good girl. Yeah, sure. Good girl. You got, you got to treat it with some love. You know what I'm saying? You got to give it some love so it, it, it behaves and it doesn't pop on you. You got to give, show that you love him. Or her. In my case, it's a her. Yeah? Yeah, baby, I know, I know. Just a little more puffing. Yeah, aww. <laughs> aww. You love me? I love you too. I'm gonna blow you up some more. Okay? Cause you're missing your body. We can't have you just without your body. Oh my god, baby, you're looking beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Your body's just starting to grow. Oh yes. Yes, baby, you're growing. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I love you. There you go. See that? Look at how nice it's getting. See that? I'm getting to the nub. You see that nub? You don't want to let that nub get too big. That's the indicator that you blew it up too much. You want to leave enough nub to prove that it's a ducky. If you blow it up all the way and there's no nub, it's not a duck. It's just an oval friggin' thing that you stuck in the water. But, with that said, it, if you do that, oh, if you blow it up all the way, there's a high likely chance it will pop. So you don't want to do that. And seeing that the head is that big, you see that? See how big her head is? You want to give it some stretch room because when you sit on it, the air is going to go all the way to the beak if you don't leave any room for it to grow. So what we're going to do is we're going to... You can also squeeze the beak a little bit. and let, You know, now that at this point, you can squeeze some of the air out of the beak. Not too much now. You don't, don't want to leave too much because you want to leave some flack in here. But you push it down like this, just lightly, so it gets down here a little bit. See? Now you got that little stub on the nose. See that? Wait, you can't, can't see. You see that nub on the nose? 
That's where your air is going to grow when you sit on it. But you don't want to bounce on it either. Don't bounce on these. These are not meant for bouncy bouncies. I mean, you can sit on it. You can, you can bounce lightly, gently, like very, very gently. Don't overdo it because if you do bounce hard, that means it's going to pop. Likely it's going to burst and you're going to have no ducky. And your $8 or whatever investment you put into it, boom. You don't want to do that. Now, this can take a full-size adult or two little kids, maybe. But I wouldn't recommend little two, two little kids. Maybe one can sit on it. No bouncy, bouncy. Because you know how kids, they don't know how to control their bouncy. Might pop it. So you may ask me, just how much more air I should blow before I stop? Okay, the rule of thumb, you know how balloons neck and um, manufacturers on all balloons. If you look at some bags that you buy in a store, it tells you not to make neck the balloon, not to make it like a basket. You don't want to do that on these balloons because you make a basket, there's a big chance it'll pop on you. A small one, maybe a light, t almost near, vis just barely visible one is okay. But when you do a big, big neck, like it starts to look like uh, like this wide, like like this wide, that's when you're gonna, that's when you're asking for trouble. When it gets th like this, because only if you want to blow the pop it, that's then you can keep going. But I wouldn't recommend it unless you got hundreds of these or you got tons of these. And you could, and you don't care, and you just want to blow the pop it because that's your thing. But if you're trying to play with it, and you want to blow it up just to play with, I wouldn't recommend you blowing it to it to the max because then you ask for trouble. You can also stop now. You got enough space to really sit on her. Like you see this? You see that it's a little nub right now. It's it's starting to nub out, like really, really nub out. But you could blow it up maybe I say if you have a very deep inflation ratio with your breath, I'd say you could probably get away with like maybe four to five more breaths, maybe. If you really want to take the chance. I mean personally I wouldn't. If you're gonna have, if you want to plan on bouncing on it at any given time, it's not recommended. Now, if you want to just sit on it, maybe you could blow, get away with seven or eight deep puffs. Maybe. And I'm saying maybe, because I'm not guaranteeing that it's not gonna pop, but it still can. Now. One. Two. And that's how much I'm gonna blow in mines. Maybe a little maybe a little more. That's about it. That's about right. See that? See how much room is in there? Now the method, the method to seal it, I would use a string because if you use a clip and you're sitting on it, make sure, if you're going to sit on it with a clip, make sure this is not underneath. You don't want to let it sit underneath because the piece can puncture the balloon. I mean, it's not, there's a small chance, but it can happen. So I'm going to find me a clip and I'll show you. Okay, let's see, where's my clip? I know I have clips here. Yeah, there we go. We got a blue one. That's going to be good enough. Okay, watch this.
There you go. See that? Now, I'm going to move this camera all the way back so you can see me sitting on it. So you know I'm not full fucking with you or messing with you so that it can actually lower this plateau a little bit. Sorry. Okay. And I'm going to move the camera up. I'm done doing that. I'll tell, show you exactly why you should never over inflate it. Because if you do, it could pop. You see what's going to happen is, see this? I'm wearing clothes. Yeah. I think I get this blanket out of my way. And my little stuffy. Now, let me make sure there's nothing, sh no dirt particles. Make sure your, your area is clear of particles. You don't want anything in the way to cause it to pop. So, sometimes people can track dirt onto the bed. So, got to make sure that's clear. Keep in mind, I can guarantee you nothing that it's not going to pop if you blow it up. Because balloons have can pop. It doesn't matter what type it is. But particularly figurines are very delicate. So if you blow it up too much, at any given point, it can burst. I'm going to take this top off because there's zippers on here. My head, my hat. Okay. Now, that's only going to be for a minute. Now, you see... Now, you see the way I'm sitting up? Oh, you can't see that thing. You see this? It's not, I'm not sitting on it. This is the mouth, right? You see that? Now, you could also tug at it to make it neck. And that's the reason why I told you you never blow it up all the way. See that? It's necking a little bit. You gotta leave room for it to neck. Good girl. Oh yeah, baby. You like me to ride you, don't you? Ooh. Oh. Good girl. <laughs> See that? She's my ducky. My cute little ducky. Yes, you are. See, I'm bouncing on her. That's because I left enough room for it to happen, see? I left enough air out of the beak, and I left enough air out of this. See how much room I got left on this? Barely any. You see that? See that? Good girl. You love me, don't you? Daddy knows how to take care of you. Oh, yeah. See, I'm sitting down on the bed with her, practically. Mmm. 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 Look at that. I'm not even worried about her popping. She won't pop for me. She knows... She knows I wouldn't let her bust. Oh, yeah. Mmm. What a good girl. Oh, yes. I love you, too, baby. Oh, that's the end of this part. This video. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Now, as you can see, look at that. After sitting on her, you see the shape of the beak now? It's it, it shrunk a little bit. That's okay. You want to leave room for her to grow. And look at the back. You see that? The air went down there. That's the reason why your beak is small, but that's okay. You don't want to over inflate her so she doesn't pop on you. Now we're gonna do the elephant. The elephant is actually a lot easier. It it, it looks difficult, but it's not. <laughs> Where's my elephant? I had a hope. Where the hell they go? Oh, there we go. Sorry. They're underneath the pillow. 
I must have thrown one of them when I moved stuff. Put my hat back on. I didn't like my hat. My little tiger hat. Now, this is the easy one. It's a lot easier than that. Believe it or not, it's a lot easier. It's crazy what I'm saying, but a lot easier. Trust me, it's a lot easier. Because if you figured out the duck, it's basically almost the same thing. You got to do the, the trunk, in this case, first. But seeing how long this trunk is, you see how long it is? It's a lot longer than the, the beak was. So it's going to get easier. And then the head, and then you got the body. Now, let's begin. Same MO, nothing different. And notice the air went from the, it's all the way in the back. That's the reason why you hold the head. So you push this all the way to the front. Or, nah, you little munchkin, stop doing that. Push the air to the front. Now you don't have to push all the way tight, tight to the front. Now you got, you know, I should have blew up more. Come on, baby. Okay, I was gripping the back too tight. That's what was doing that, causing the air not to go flow. <laughs> See what happened? You grip it too tight, but you guys still maintain enough control over your balloon. See that? Now you got, I got the bow. And cut the air from escaping. Let me see, can you see my hands? Yeah, well, somewhat. See, I'm going to close the air hole so you can see. See, I'm not tightening it. Not really tight. Just enough so that I can play with it. I just realized my mistake when I told some of y'all earlier on to make sure it's really ultra tight. Don't make it ultra tight. But don't blow it all the way either. Just blow enough of a puff. Like a small ball. Like you're blowing up a t like a bubble. Enough just so you can fill up the end. But at the end... Just enough, like a, maybe a cup, like five, two or three good puffs. Not small puffs, good puffs. Once you get enough puff in there, but you, you don't want to, you want to maintain the back and the head as much as you can. Like this, see, look, see what I'm doing? Now I got the air from there. See, look at that, see? Now, you want to do this, see that? Hold this tight like this, I mean, you could do any way you want, like this. See, look, this flowing like this, I'm holding the but bubble tight so it won't escape. You do this, like this, and you just cradle it. You don't have to, you don't let go. Now look, watch. Now watch what I'm doing. I'm not tightening it. You see, you can hear the air escape if you, you were me.
remember, like I said, this can still pop. You see the, see the, the, there's a couple of church windows on this one. You can't really see too well. But, there's a couple of church windows on that. Now you see that I got the, the, the beak grown. I mean, the, the trunk. Now she can still pop because she has church windows on her, but I'm confident I can blow her up. And if not, I'll just go grab another one. It's not a big deal for me. For you guys, it might be, but if you got a good one, you should be straight. So I'm pretty confident you guys got good ones. Now you see the head starting to grow. See that? Now those church windows can come from a number of things. It can come from storage, or it could just come from being imperfectly blown up from the manufacturer. I mean made. Notice I've lot I've I've released a lot of the balloon. You see that? I'm not holding it tight no more. This is like I told you, this is an easier balloon. See that? I'm not gripping it tight like I did with the duck. I'm not like I mean I'm not managing it as bad. I'm just guiding it now. Basically you see I'm cradling it so it doesn't blow up. I mean I I put a like a little circle around it so it doesn't blow up on you when you blow up the rest. And you just sort of guide it as you blow up the balloon. Okay, at this point, you see the head is already formed. So it's okay to release the body. You see that? See that? It's right at the feet now. You see that? You can release the body now. So you got to be careful at this point not to grip the body when you you got to know exactly when it, you start seeing it. You can tell. You see that? I'll show you right quick before I get further. You see these little leg stumps over here that on the the print. That's when you start to release it. You don't grip on it no more like you did before. You can release it now. It's safe. Once the air reaches that point, you can let go. Just so you guys know on the, the elephant, okay? You don't have to grip it up tight like that no more. It's only when you first start with the beak. It's a pain in the ass with the beak. See that? It's going to surprise you when it, as it grows. See that? Now, remember, I could, it could still pop on me because you saw those imperfections on the balloon. And it's nothing wrong with the balloon itself. It's the way it was made. I'm confident that it's going to blow up right because, you know what, once you get past the head part, it's usually okay, you're safe, somewhat.
Look at that. Look at that. The body is starting to form. Look at that. See that? Look. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's get this shirt out of the way. I don't take chances. Now, this is the fun part. See that? It's already at its capacity. It's near the tail. See that? The feet are growing. Now, Now from this point on, here's what you're gonna I'm gonna recommend you do. You see, like I told you with the beak, now we're gonna mess with the the, the the this part right here, just a little so you don't pop it when you sit on it. Okay? See that? You wanna give it some play because if you put it too tight, you're you're not gonna get any play out of it out it. See that? See that? It's got that little nub now. It's a bigger nub than the other thing because elephants are m might be more, well, this elephant might be more delicate than that duck there. So it's, it's got that little, those little church windows on there. But it still can be played with. See? It made it to its tail. To the back part of it. Now, how big you want to get it is up to you. That depends on how you, what you prefer. Personally, I won't let it get more than, I would leave, uh, I'll blow it up maybe, I don't know, three or four puffs more because I already got it pretty big. I went four. See that? Look how nice and big it got. See that? And being that the head is a lot bigger, it makes me kind of nervous. But, we got it. Okay, I went a couple of small puffs. I have a small pair of lungs, so I can do that. And get away with it. Now I'm looking for my little slits. Where the hell that woman put my clips? Alright. She's got like 400 bags on top of my bag here where I keep my clips. Now we got the blue. Mm hmm. Alright, there we go. Now, you always try to clip towards the very end because you need room to stretch, right? And you clip it towards the end, the middle. You're not going to get much playroom, are you? So, it's okay to let a little bit of air escape. It's not a crime. Now, you see it's nice and big. Good girl. You're going to behave and let me play with you a little bit? Huh? Yes. Yes. Aww. You love me. Now, see how fast I blew this one up versus the duck? The duck was the hard one compared to the elephant. Even though really technically it's supposed to be the easiest one, easiest one of the two. The bunny is the hard one. I don't have any around me right now, so I'm going to do that next time. But, so you guys can see the elephant growing to where it's supposed to. Out popping. Notice I'm just sitting on it because this elephant is not meant to really bounce on it. And plus, this one is weakened version of the other of a good one. Notice I'm just I'm just hugging it, but you can't tell because the camera is facing that way. And I'm gonna move it down. So you can see. See that? 
See, I'm plugging, I'm plugging away at the tail. I'm sitting full flat on it now. I'm tugging. See, so that's how you make a neck out when it's blown up. Good girl. Oh my God, she's so good. So good. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you're so yummy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Feels so good. Yeah, I know I'm a little weird guy and I'm sitting on it and getting all intimate with it. But she's a cute little elephant, so I just couldn't resist. She feels so nice. She feels so nice. Look at that. Yeah, she got the nose and everything. Alright, that's that's it folks. That's it for this instruction. Hope you enjoyed it.